remember the Wuhan flu? Remember before COVID was a thing most people knew existed? There was the Wuhan flu. And do you remember January 24th of 2020 when I announced there was a Wuhan virus? Because that's what it was called, the Wuhan virus. I got a call from some Chinese contacts. I think there was five Chinese major organizations involved in what I'm showing you right now in this shoot. I'm wearing a wig. <laughs> I'm wearing a wig because this was all done like last minute because the pandemic was last minute. Say it says urgent. So I'm looking back. It's 2024. No one speaks English except, see this guy on the right? But everyone else, say. Nope, I had a translator, he's my translator. And uh, you'll see. The plot of this actually shows that I'm spreading <laughs> the Wuhan flu, I swear. I'm the super spreader in this, like, PSA. It's not really commercial. I mean, it's a PSA. So I'm the super spreader. See, I get home to my young child and my husband. They get home and I give them a hug after getting back from the airport. And you'll see, I could post the actual commercial if you want to see, but these were the stats. See here? These are things I found on the internet. There was nothing January 24th. I mean, not much. You really didn't see much on like Facebook or anything. But on certain sites that I think I was given the link, I want to say, from the people I was working with. But yeah, see, they started to announce vaccine patients let's see google coronavirus patient let me see okay yeah they had this whole chart about the wuhan virus this was a thing yeah january 24th memories guys memories memories who paid attention when i announced this january 24th that's what i really want to know now now selfishly narcissistically at the end of all this i want to know who was like, oh, Jen's warning us that people are falling over in China because I made some posts separate from this saying that, uh, yeah, I guess I stopped posting about the coronavirus. No one really cared, you know, see? No one cared. I moved on, went on to the next shoot, and uh, I paid attention. I was, you know, see, I'm showing you the rest of my posts. Right after I announced the coronavirus, the Wuhan flu, this is the days that followed. Oh, yeah, I started hosting the radio show. That was fun. Oh, here we go. Now it's five days later, and I'm posting another update about this epidemic. See, I'm telling you guys about an epidemic. It's January 29th of 2020. The pandemic, I think, was like March 15th, I want to say. March 15th is when people I know started paying attention. And I started getting messages about it. And uh, what else is going on? But yeah, back in the day, you know, oh, I did this makeup for Bloody Nun too. Look at her. She looks great. Angie Hansen, great actress. She's being the Bloody Mary, it turns into Bloody Mary, so she could fight the Bloody Nun. And anyway, memories, memories. Oh my God. Yeah, this is, see, I stopped kind of working out right around the pandemic. My butt does not look like this. This, is, this was knocking things over, I swear. I've knocked over at least two very expensive drinks when I used to go out and, like, get drinks. I don't get any drinks. I, that's gay. I mean, you know, in the 1990s way, you know, it's gay. I'm bringing it back, right? I'm bringing it back. Oh, wow, look at this. Hemp Smarts. Oh, Janina. Doesn't look like my blanket. Better version of her. Oh, great! That's cool. All right, guys. This is a tour of 2020, right before the world ended. And uh, oh, what's this? Oh, fitness shoot. Cool. Look at that. Let's find some other things. Oh, there's a lot of me on here. Maybe I gotta get some more interest other than me.